All right. Welcome back to another um, episode of the uh, Chill Film Discussions. Hello and Happy New Year, everyone, whoever is watching this. Um, or whenever you watch this, this is our first episode of 2022. And it's been a while since uh, we, we've, we've chatted because of the holidays. But we're, we're back. Um, and we're back with the banner because this one, today we're discussing uh, a very, very popular film, <laughs> a recently released popular film called uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. It is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And um, yeah, I don't really know. Basically, I don't really know how much of an exposition you really want because, you know, it, it's, it, if you don't know about this film, you can just like Wikipedia it, but <laughs> essentially, um, yeah, I mean, this, this film is at its crux. It is, to me, it's, it's a fan service film. It is like, ultimately, oh, yeah. like at its crux, it is a, it's, <laughs> it's a fan service film. It's, it's essentially, I mean, this is going to be spoilers. So this is the, you're war- like, if you haven't watched the film, this is your last warning <laughs> because I'm just going to go straight into it. Um, some 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 deep spoilers. Yeah, there's a lot but, that goes on. That's surprising. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But essentially, follows uh, Tom Holland Spider Man uh, and his friends and family from directly after the events of Far From Home, where Mysterio reveals his identity to the world. So this uh, Tom Holland Spider Man has to navigate those issues, and he wants to undo it, and they're doing it. Yeah, inadvertently creates, uh, allows unwanted guests from other universes of Spider-Man to come in and play around with him, mm-hmm. including other iterations of Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, which is always a very nice treat to see because, of course, that's a big fan service. <laughs> uh, a lot of reason why, a huge reason why a lot of people uh, love this movie. Um, from my perspective, I hadn't seen to- Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, but I've seen Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and um, even in spite of not seeing Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, I still really much enjoy this movie. Like, I think um, in terms of a film, in terms of like how they brought like a huge cast, um, they did a very, very good job yeah. of like navigating while also like focusing on Tom Holland's Spider-Man and his growth, emotional journey, mm-hmm. because he suffered, and it was very evident that he suffered, and he had to go through some inner demons basically uh to mature into a spider <laughs> um yeah but for, so for the most part i think execution wise fantastic acting fantastic um overall just like all the nods to the different previous films was really great um just to see and the chemistry between the actors was very very good too um but the a couple of like I guess small itty bitty things that I'm gonna nitpick about are uh, one is um I guess like yeah I was kind of confused about the whole Sandman sort of situation <laughs> where he was like good comes good comes out good and it's like helping Spider Man he's like wait a minute I mean he just like flips wait a minute I don't trust you anymore <laughs> I don't like what's going on and he starts becoming antagonistic and then it becomes part of like the symbol of villains yeah. in the final battle that was a bit weird for me um although to be fair i haven't seen third spider-man toby mcguire spider-man so like i don't really get his he wasn't a very he wasn't like one of the hugely like prominent villains in this film so like yeah maybe there's something there that i don't understand um and then another thing like there's a, some a couple of plot convenient very plot convenient things that happen like for instance dr strange like just straight up like spider-man just basically evading dr strange like winning in his battle against him to grab the cube in the mirror dimension when dr strange could like easily 1v1 him like that that was his plot convenience um and then another oh i guess the one last thing was um i know like in this and i guess in this um that in this universe uh like technology is like huge thing like um but i think they're hugely they're technologically advanced like some of these way ahead um 
compared to the other universe, maybe. Yeah. But like, yeah. it was a little bit con- convenient. Like, there was a whole montage of like they're creating all these like antidotes for all the villains, or like just like yeah, no, not antidotes, but like they knew what to do to create <laughs> what would heal or uh, save the villains from their their ailment Elements, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And just it just was. And there was like a montage of the school laboratory, and they just were able to just concoct everything very quickly. Like that was like, like I understand technology is like really much advanced in this universe, right. but like it was it was convenient enough to garner a, a, a note. Uh, <laughs> I, it was noteworthy because I thought it was like, wow, this is very plot, yeah, um, somewhat plot convenient. For the finale mm-hmm. but that one is a bit that's like a small detail um yeah but yeah i mean overall just like i loved seeing all the previous spider-man like toby's andrews yeah. great definitely andrews i think andrews is underrated <laughs> by quite a bit yeah but he, he, he shined here i feel like so he definitely shined here and i'm like i'm very excited to see uh a potential third uh, film with him. So, yeah. that's it for me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, you and I probably have very similar opinions about the movie. Like, you know, I thought it was very fun. You know, a great movie, yeah. um, to watch and sit through. Very, you know, as you said, you know, a lot of fan service. I don't know if I, you know, was probably the, you know. Uh, captured all that fan service but i definitely enjoyed it right having all these you know crossovers with the different you know franchises you know coming in and i did think they did it pretty seamlessly um and that's what i enjoyed the most just how they you know, are able to um incorporate all these different spider-men um into this one movie and have everyone kind of you know have their own kind of you know story motivation uh well have their own story right not you know no one kind of out no one really outshone you know Peter Parker, Tom Holland's Peter Parker. He was still the main Spider-Man main show, but you still have the other Spider-Man yeah. still be able to interact and have you know be their own character as well, and able to bring that you know for their own flavor um, into the movie. And you know this is you know, the interaction and all the quips between them was definitely fun to see. Right, they all had you know the, the, those little lines um, that reference back to an old movie, or even just you know comparing to each other just to show how they're unique they are and how different. Yeah. Um, but they all yeah. able to you know do it in a way that's you know seamless and also kind of like. Um, um, that's kind of like lively as well as just um, ha- can have the audience appreciate each each one right and just like not no longer kind of like you know, having a fight like oh this is the best Spider Man just like oh yeah they're all here they're all kind of like again as you said before like kind of like a brotherly family kind of like a family right even like Andrew Garfield Spider Man yeah. oh yeah I love you guys right you know he yeah, appreciates them having a yeah. support system there and it kind of yeah. shows right that each Spider Man is there no one's kind of like taking the spot like no one's trying to like you know be they don't it could have been easily like they're trying to do like you know be better like like have this competition like oh i'm the best spider-man it's not there right here instead they all try to work together they all understand each other they all try to support each other which is nice to say right no, no one's trying to be like i'm the better spider-man it's just like oh yeah we're here together uh-huh. we're all unique we're all trying to you know i, I did appreciate that dynamic um between each of them i think um um, you know, and you know, Tom Holland was, was really good, but I think you know, Andrew Garfield really kind of also like, like all of his like he had like a lot of comedic quips, which I you know I thought was funny, funniest, a lot of bits. He's the right? funniest, he, he's he the was funniest I definitely Spider-Man. he was definitely the funniest Spider Man, and I, I I really enjoyed his lines and the writing in general. This whole movie I thought um, was well, well done. How and just how the yeah. story also progressed. Um, and really, really mm-hmm. enjoyed that. Um, and you know, I think the emotional beats were all there, especially you know, one Aunt May's death, and then you know, the ending scene, um, where he kind of yep. you know, you know, loses everything. He kind of you know, becomes a new person or tries to. He learns. He has this wisdom, and and it becomes a, you know, you know, his own Spider Man, and tr- you know, still tries to do hero work, even though no one yep. remembers him. He you know, he's dedicated to that idea, which is great. You know, he he kind of takes that lesson to heart with great power. It comes to you know, this you know, comes greater responsibility. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, he takes this, you know, takes that to heart. You know, he, he learns from, you know, his mistakes. He learns from this whole ordeal. Um, yeah. The villains were great, right? Um, you know, it's great that they introduced all these different villains. And I'm, you know, very surprised uh, or just interesting that, you know, you know, they got Green Goblin back to become the main antagonist, at least in the third act, right? Um, to fight yeah. against, and they bring it back from the first movie. Um, and you know, they we, we get the fight, an MCU fight uh, between Green Goblin and Spider Man. So that was interesting, and Defoe's performance of it was 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 stellar, right? Just yeah, how he's yeah. menacing. Oh yeah. Um, and it's very very enjoyable. Um, so I love their performance as well. Um, 
it's also interesting you know, again you know have this magical component but that kind of takes a back seat um after that that starts the premise right that kicks off the whole movie but then it because, again becomes just you know a spider-man movie like magic is kind of yeah like, like, like there because they had to get the magic box as the MacGuffin, right but you know yeah. it's it's it, you know it starts the movie it becomes you know the, the way that why the you know the movie starts but again this whole movie is all about spider-man which again it's 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 great. It's interesting. Um, exciting to watch. You know how 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 would Peter Parker, Spider Man, um, deal with this ordeal, this situation? And he does it in his own way. He suffers from his consequences, which I like. Um, they very yeah. easily could have uh, made it a way that you know he he kind of brushes it off or you know does something else. But I like that he, you know he makes a decision. He sticks with it. He sticks with his ideals. Um, he suffers for it. He pays the consequences for this decision. And then you know yeah. it's it's a it's a big change that happens afterwards. Right? Things have changed now. Um. And, and, you know, it's not just like, well, everything's reset back to normal. Things have reset, but it's not back to normal that he is used to. Um, so I, I, I did enjoy that aspect. Um, yes, there were a few plot points, uh, you know, plot holes, I think you, you kind of mentioned, um, which bothered me. I think, you know, what you said about, like, Electro, actually, now that I think about it, kind of just like... Um, like oh, you know, yeah, fair enough. Right? Right? Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of a bit weird now that I think Peter, about it. Yeah. Um, and then also like yeah. the whole last spell. I wonder how that worked in terms of like, like who would affect and 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 who would you know you know would affect other Spider Mans. I think this 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 kind of you know resonated with me just because like oh like you kind of re- you know you had this emotional connection with all these Spider Man and all these Spider Man fix these villains right. So how will that be when they yeah. return back to the universe? How does the spell work? I think that's you know a bit some yeah. unanswered questions there. Um, probably not too major of a, an aspect, but something that maybe I wanted to have addressed or just maybe cleared up a little bit more when when you know when they try to you know finish that spell i think they could have done that especially now that you reintroduced dr strange right it could have been something i think that could have been explained a bit more um sure. and i think that you're right like the whole spider-man versus dr strange while it was an amazing fight you know visually it was great right it's just it was kind of weird that spider-man can be dr strange especially you know you know outsmarted him and yeah he says it's math and one night you know this is his um aspect to do but i don't know if this is something that you know again resonated with me just having having a you know spider-man beat dr strange so um yeah yeah I, I think you know not not too much for me to i think you know pick up art but there's just some thought you know things that you know again stuck out um um for me when, when watching but i you know again overall very very enjoyable film and, and how they, how they for do sure. it, so yeah no for sure I, I mean i yeah willem dafoe's uh performance i i forgot to mention shouts to the villains especially willem dafoe Willem Dafoe, like, man, makes me really want to watch the first time. Because <laughs> um, his performance was phenomenal. Or it was yeah. very good. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, but that's it. We had to do our ratings. Um, I would give this film a solid nine. Solid nine? Solid nine. Um, like I said, like, would highly recommend. I mean, to be fair, I think part of it is, the, of course, the nostalgia, like, having seen some iteration of Spider Man before and like enjoying those films or at least enjoying the actor who played spider-man <laughs> and those films but um i think his story i uh, yeah just uh it gets yeah it, it's definitely a good like character development story i really appreciate it um it, it, it hits a lot of the emotional beats yeah i think in my mind for 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 a good story and uh, yeah no very enjoyable yeah. would recommend yeah i think you know my rating is probably also a nine i think um I, oh we're like the same exact person <laughs> again yeah I mean, we, we both you know very much enjoy the movie and i think there's 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 some things i would still change i mean it's not like you know i mean the, there's there's things enough that i would change about the movie like you know like i think some of the plot holes or some of the pacing maybe but i think overall it was just yeah. a fun enjoyable movie and you just you see this interaction just the writing it was it was it was fun to, fun to watch, but yeah, there's there's still some things maybe I would have changed, but it does not again does not ruin the experience. It's just something maybe personal preference and how how I would boot it, but it's just it was enough for me to say yeah, not like you know maybe that ten, but uh, but again, yeah, fun fun throughout. Um, love the performances, love the writing, love the story, character plot, and all all of that. So it was it was a great movie, very very fun. Nice nice. Well, with that, what's gonna happen here? Uh, and uh yeah see you again next time yeah looking forward to peace yeah